The Everglades are under siege, not by hurricanes or rising seas, but by snakes. Specifically invasive Burmese pythons that have multiplied into the tens of thousands and decimated local wildlife. But scientists are fighting back with an army of robot bunnies. When they looked into what was happening, they found that the rabbits had been wiped out by invasive species, specifically Burmese pythons, since escaping or being released from the pet trade in the 1970s. These large snakes have multiplied into the tens of thousands in the Everglades, and with no natural predators in their adopted habitat, they've had a devastating impact on local wildlife. Today, they're a massive problem in the Everglades. Their behavior is relatively easy to replicate, and they're a common prey item for the snakes. But simply making a fake rabbit wasn't enough. One of the professors even brought a damaged bot home, and his son promptly named it Bumbin. It also needed to be able to withstand Florida's swampy conditions and be tough enough to survive python attacks. After all, if a snake can't eat a decoy, it won't learn to avoid it. They're high-tech, solar-powered decoys that mimic the movements and heat signature of real marsh. Rabbits, tricking hungry pythons into thinking they've found an easy meal. Hunters using the decoys have already removed several pythons from the park. The plan is to place these robotic replicas of prey animals in strategic locations around the Everglades and wait for the snakes to find them. Some are placed in open areas, while others are hidden in the tall grass. Each one needs to be monitored by cameras that detect the movement of pythons and alert the research team. And since they don't make a lot of noise or leave tracks behind, they're even harder to monitor. In order to be effective, the bots would have to look and act like real animals, which meant they needed to mimic things like movement, body heat, and even breathing. Most importantly, though, they had to resemble actual prey animals, which presented something of a challenge because not all creatures move and behave in the same way. To solve this problem, researchers hit upon the idea of using robots to lure pythons out of hiding. For a few years, the state brought in elite snake hunters from India to catch as many pythons as possible. In 2017, they even hosted the annual Python Challenge, which brought in nearly 1,000 hunters who removed almost 300 pythons from the park. These efforts have had some success, but the snakes continue to spread, and the people hunting them aren't always successful. The trouble began over a decade ago when researchers noticed that live rabbit populations had plummeted across the Everglades. There have been some efforts to control their population. Burmese pythons can be surprisingly hard to spot because they're good at hiding, but there was a major obstacle standing between researchers and their vision of robotic prey. That's why the researchers chose rabbits to ensure their creations could survive in the wild. The team had to waterproof the bots and reinforce them with extra material. As one of the researchers put it, after 10 years of documenting the problem, we're tired of just watching. Each bunny is placed in a different location, and each one has its own set of challenges. Since the project began in 2021, the team has deployed 100 robot bunnies across the Everglades. Early results are promising, and while the future of the Everglades still looks uncertain, this band of robot bunnies offers a glimmer of hope. So what do you think? Can robot animals be the future of wildlife conservation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.